Edmund. Come on. Come on, you guys. Does anybody anybody want the banana? Anybody want the banana? Come on, little ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe if I can beckon to them first. Hey, Edmund! Hey, you're really happy. Oh my gosh. I don't think any of them are going to come and get the banana. I, I think that they would love the banana. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <gasps> Has the banana been scented? Has the banana been scented? Oh, you guys, we might have some bananas. No? 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 Oh, look at the baby! I love that baby so much. I wonder if we're going to be able to watch it, like, physically grow up as time goes on and it becomes taller and taller. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, my gosh. They aren't even the same species of giraffe, which makes it so fun. They're the giraffe species, but they are subspecies. All right, well, I'll eat the banana. <laughs> All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, which, as you can tell, ever since the birth of our many beautiful baby giraffes, things have gotten more and more popular, and somebody wants the food! Somebody wants the food! Why do you want the food now? Feed! Feed! Come here, Edmund! I've got the banana! Edmund! Edmund! Oh, oh, it's so sad. Wait, 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 is he coming back? Edmund! Okay, I think you have to like stand here and wait. And then, yes, Edmund, I will feed you now. Edmund! Edmund! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, come on. Hi, Edmund. What do you think? Okay, no, no, I want Edmund. Come back, Edmund. Edmund? No! Muffin? Do you want... Pandora? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we have hope. I think we have hope. Okay, got a banana. Man, it's kind of hard to feed them sometimes. Offer the food, maybe? She's not hungry enough. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go, guys. I gave it a good try. No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Put the banana down. Put the banana down. All right, well, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, everyone, where we are starting to absolutely crawl with guests all over our zoo. We are really starting to roll in the money and we are starting to dream about a time where not only can giraffes be seen here in Giraffe Horizon Park, but we can add in some other animals as well. So, you guys, this is so exciting. This is so exciting, especially because we found out last time that when little baby Winter, one of our newest giraffes, was born, it did actually allow us to have a, a baby giraffe, another baby giraffe, this time the thorns filled giraffe, who needs adopted. And we added in, oh, I'm all turned around. No wonder I couldn't figure out where I was going. <laughs> We're building kind of like the giraffe horizon plaza over here. And we have a new grasslands. And so I think we're going to rename this grasslands. And we're actually going to call it the Giraffe Fields. Giraffe? Giraffe Fields Thorny Slopes. Okay. And the reason we're doing that is that I hope to be able to move in our Thorns Field Giraffes from this exhibit to make a little bit more room in case any more babies will be born in the future amongst our Corderophon giraffes, which are two different subspecies of giraffe. And I wanna make sure that they feel comfortable, that if the females who will be watching after the two babies they just had for quite a while ever want to, they could go ahead and have more babies. But we do have a couple here. Oh, we have some poop to scoop. Let's take care of that really quickly. We do have a couple other subspecies of giraffe mixed in, like Bluto and Summer. So Summer, well, no, Quarterophon, Muffin, Edmund. I'm looking for Pandora. There we go. Pandora is actually a thorny craft giraffe. Uh, she is a very uncommon subspecies of giraffe, and I'm interested in her having some babies. So I think, did Pandora have any babies with Hades yet, who is also a thorny craft giraffe? I think both the babies who were born, <gasps> yes, that's right, Daisy was born. And we do actually have another baby thorny craft giraffe that was donated to us after Daisy was born and they were sure that we could take care of these little ones. But we're gonna move, yeah, we're gonna move Daisy and we're gonna move Hades and Pandora over to the thorny fields so that they can have a little bit more room for their subspecies. 
Not that I would mind keeping all of the giraffes in the same exhibit, but the point is to have as many as we can, basically. And here in our reserve animals, we have Cookie, who has been given to us. She is a Thornicraft or Rhodesian giraffe, and she has nowhere to go. But here, she will be able to be with her people. So she's not going to be lonely for long. It's going to be awesome. Let's get the exhibit items in so that we can take care of our new thorny giraffe fields. And then I promised you guys lions, and I wasn't lying about the lions. Ha <laughs> ha. So we will get to them in just a moment, too. Look how much money we have now. This is amazing. I love this because I can take such good care of our giraffes as a result. Let's get the fruit feeding station in and upgrade it. We probably need to hire another zookeeper pretty soon, and we can totally afford that now, which makes me happy. Let's get some enrichment items in. Like for giraffes. Oh, and just as we say that, sure enough, the meerkat giraffes are out of water. So, hmm. We're going to need to refill that in just a second. Let's get a waiting pool, like right over here. Let's actually get the temple waiting pool. So let's do research on that. Oh no, they're getting dirty. I don't want them to get dirty. Hang in there, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, geez. And they've even got some poop in here. They've got a lot more space now that we have moved the thorny giraffes to the thorny zone, though. Exhibit items. I want to take care of the exhibit, please. Edit exhibit. Exhibit items. Animal care. There we go. Okay. Man, it's a lot of work just so that you can come in and, like, refill things. Actually, let's upgrade. There we go. And then the fruit feeding station. Let's upgrade it. There we go. Ooh, and we haven't upgraded this one yet either. Okay. Even fancier leaves for our giraffes. I demand it. More, more fancy fruit. I have no idea what they would eat, but whatever it is, whatever their hearts desire, I wish to give it to them. And let's actually give them another cleaning station just because they do seem to use it to stay clean and they might enjoy having the extra water over there. All right, how are things looking over here? We're still kind of, are the babies good? <gasps> and the exhibit decorations! I haven't been adding in, in exhibit decorations and I totally want to. Did I add in a water spot for these guys yet? I don't think I did. I was gonna put a wading pool over here. That's what I was doing. Okay, hang on, whoops. Edit, exhibit items, we want enrichment. And over here, I was gonna put that wading pool. Yes, there we go. So a wading pool for our thorny giraffes. Uh, we can put in an interaction area. <gasps> Susie, who we released to the wild has been seen with a new baby, which is so cute. And if we want to interact with the giraffes, that would be a feeding station. I think I'm okay without the feeding station, honestly. Um, I would rather just, like, let them have more food and, like, water and cleaning stations. Let's give the thornies the carved one. There we go. So it's gonna work wonders on them, apparently. We'll upgrade it so that it'll take good care of them. And then what are some decorations we can put in our new thorny giraffe area with the little baby who- natural decorations. Yeah? Oh, there we go! Okay. Whoa! We can have a hippo now! And we can go viral with our beautiful giraffes now! That is the way life should be. That is the way life should be. What other decorations can I put in here? Ooh! Like ruin pieces! I like it! And then over here, can we put in some cool statues? I mean, I guess we can. I don't really like that one though. Let's sell it. And then what can we put in? Steely. I kind of like these though. Like that's kind of fun. And then let's put in natural decoration. There we go. And then over here, statue, nah, fresco. Make it look kind of like a little piece, a little ruin piece. Uh, and then right over here. Oh, there we go. That's already decorated. Yay! All right, guys. Well, we've got our thorny giraffes happily tucked away. I think they're going to be very, very happy there. And it is actually making me think that perhaps we should come over. And I think we're going to uh, release, not Edmund, but Bluto. I think old man Bluto 
has the importance of what it takes to provide to the wild giraffes. Uh, and we do have an animal release challenge right now. Release any animal at level 15. And now that we know we get all sorts of amazing updates on them in the wild about them finding mates and being successful and spreading their genes in the wild populations, that's really amazing. And I really support that. So we're gonna go ahead and release Bluto. We're gonna release him to the wild. There we go. And we are also going to find Summer and I kind of, like, level 15 animals apparently just won't have children as often as some of the others. I kind of want to keep Summer a little bit longer, kind of like a, a female matriarch in the area, so we'll see how that goes. But I promised you guys lions. I wasn't lying about the lions. <laughs> uh, new challenge, animal level. There's too many challenges for me sometimes. <laughs> it's like, help, help, help. Yay! Oh wow, we filled out immediately by uh, having a level 15 red lemur and now people are going to donate more. Mm. And Bluto has arrived at the Congo Basin Animal Project, which is wonderful. We'll get updates about Bluto too. Phew. Whoa. Whoa. So much going on. Good news. We have spread from one giraffe field to a second giraffe field with the thorny slopes. We have a new deep waters watering hole. Uh, can I actually just like, oh, there's sick animals that we will have to take care of in just a bit, which reminds me we do need more zookeepers, but let's go ahead and celebrate by putting down the big decorations that are going to divide. There we go. Is it Savannah? Is it this guy? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and put down a couple big rocks to kind of shield the tall giraffes who would otherwise probably spend their day quite concerned and staring into the distance. There you go, guys. Can I get another kind of like savanna large rock? Cause that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, yeah. In fact, I think I'm gonna kind of swap a couple of these, but we're gonna put these large rocks right here to mark the edge of the exterior of the giraffe fields. And I'm actually going to come in, I think, and let's sell this and then build. Aren't these beautiful? I want to, I want to mimic these kinds of just stunning rock formations uh, in our zoo crafting series, actually. If I, if there's some way I can do it, or maybe in our Zoo Tycoon 2 series, if there's some way I can do it, I would love to try to mimic them because they're just so pretty. All right, can I sneak this? There we go. And then we'll sneak in a couple trees because this area is just so pretty. And actually less might be more for some of the trees around here. And then we'll do like a couple right here. And then maybe one more savanna tree right here. There. And you know what we've just made? A beautiful natural barrier that on this side, we're gonna add the big lion exhibit mm-hmm the big one the grasslands large uh which apparently is great for lions or the savannah large which is apparently great for lions giraffes and rhinos <gasps> we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna put the lions right over here i kind of wanted i wanted to put a large lake in okay Hang in there. You guys have seen how to decorate these can get kind of interesting. Let's do the large lake research really quickly and just imagine. Ooh, like I wanted a big lake to be one of the first things you saw. But now that I'm actually looking at it, I think it might be fun to be maybe a big plaza. Like how big are the plazas that you can do? Triangle, re I think I want it to be a big plaza instead. Like how cool would it be? to unlock one of these gigantic plazas. What does it look like if I grab the deco plaza? How big is it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually let it be a deco plaza and it just can lead you to lions right over here. That would work out very well for me. Okay, let's do it. There's just a lot to consider when I wanna make it look really special so that we can all sit back and be like, oh, wow, you know what I mean? And right about Right about Susie has been seen with another new baby in the wild. Oh my gosh. That is so exciting. And then right here. <gasps> Lions. 
that's what this is gonna be. We're gonna have lions! Let's connect. We're gonna wanna connect up over here. We'll eventually change the paths that we are putting down too. For now, we can actually put a large lake right over here to kind of make the connection between all of the different areas. <gasps> and it fits perfectly for my theme. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're gonna connect these. There we are, there we are. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade the lake so it is the nicest thing in the area. Maybe even populated with all kinds of unique, uh, unique, mm, the janitors are on strike again. That's okay, we'll, we'll take care of this. But maybe it's populated with all sorts of unique frogs or terrapins, also known. There you go, guys, you can have a race. Maybe it's populated with frogs and terrapins. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, we can just come right down into it. Be careful, you don't wanna to get too close in case there is a crocodile, but we are ready. Let's add them in, just so that we know that they are definitely going to be here. Or let's see if we need to do research for them. I think we need to do research for them. <gasps> okay, we need to do research for them. In my defense, <laughs> in my defense, I didn't know that, but it'll be really fun. It'll be really fun. Okay, guys, well, We've got the lion area, a brand new savanna that is going to be filled with one of the most iconic predators in the world and hopefully result in several new baby lions that we can send onward to help out the wild populations, maybe reestablish some other parks, maybe you know, help somehow educate people so that we can reduce the amount of human-animal conflict. Yes, I bet you just enjoyed that big raise you got, didn't you, my friend? Yes, I'm speaking about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right, get that dirt. Get that dirt. Oh my gosh. Get Forget the dirt and get this trash can. Holy cow. Uh, We still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> but all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. Next time, lions! If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to all of our friends or perhaps a tip to that janitor. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, you know what to do. But until next time, guys, stay curious. Bye-bye.